Um, so, oh, okay. Good, good way to start the video. Um, okay. So, let's do a get ready with me because I haven't done one of those in a while. So, yeah. We're gonna do that. Okay. So, basically, I'm gonna be doing my makeup first. I know that's kind of weird because I usually put my clothes on first. I know I have clothes on, but this isn't my outfit for today. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I got a new foundation from Marshalls. It's um, Ellen Tracy Advanced Hydrating Foundation Lightweight and Even Tone Warm Beige is the skin tone. Um, but basically, if you want something that doesn't even like, make, that doesn't make you look like you're wearing foundation, but you will know that it's there, but, like, I asked all my friends if they could even tell I had foundation on, and they were like, no. And I was like, yes, that is exactly what I'm going for. Um, and it was only $4 at Marshalls. So, it's really good. Okay, so, actually, I almost forgot primer. So, first, always prime your face. So, I'm using this CIAT, I don't Syat London. I don't know. Um, water something. It's really rubbed off. I can't read it. Hydrating primer. I don't know. It's really good. Oh. Okay. I'm running low on this. I've had it for like ever. Hence what. Hence why it's um. Like the letters are coming off, but you know it's okay. That's character. So I'm just mixing this on my face to be all primed. Go to get all the spots. Okay. Now I literally put like, I don't know, that much. Maybe just a little dot. Oh. Like that. And then... I use a beauty blender. Also, if you're one of those people that was like me and was like, I don't want to wet my beauty blenders. Like, it's unnecessary. It's just a waste of time. Girl, once you start, you will realize why everyone has been doing it. I was stupid for not listening to everyone. And if you are the same way and think that it doesn't do anything, girl, the difference is crazy. Okay, so then I just blend it in. Yes, my hand is still wet, but I did squeeze the beauty blender so it's not soaking wet on my face. Okay. Like, I feel like this, like a wet beauty blender also makes it like blend better and like look more natural too and giving the hydrating effect that you want. Sorry if that just glitched out. My Wi-Fi wasn't on. I forgot to turn it on because when I don't turn it on, my phone glitches and like freezes my face. So sorry if that was frozen. But what I was saying was basically using a wet beauty blender gives you more of the like glow and um, like, it just, it, it makes it blend so much easier. It's really nice. So, highly recommend. I know probably most of you watching this are like, you didn't want your booty blender. Who doesn't do that? Yeah. And I bet you there's more people out there that also were the same way and didn't want to listen to people. So, I'm telling you right now, as someone who understands that you think it's a waste of time, um, it's not. 
and it's amazing and you'll never go back, okay? Trust. Trust me. If you don't trust the famous people, trust me. I don't lie. Okay, you can't even like tell I have anything on, which is exactly what we're going for. I put too much on my nose, so I'm just like taking it and putting it on my cheeks. Because I have way too much on my nose. Like my nose was gonna look uneven from my face. Like girl. Get it together. Okay, it's kind of showing up more now that I took that most of that off my nose and put it on my cheeks. You can tell. I have a big sit like in between my nose and my forehead. It looks like I'm about to pop out a third eye. So, yeah, just, just ignore it if you happen to see it. Look how glowy I am. Like, you can't even, like, really tell that I have anything on. Which, I love that so much. Okay, now I'm gonna do concealer. Why'd I say it like that? Um, I use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer Cache, I don't know. Ceremonies? I don't, I don't know, girl. Um, but it's really good, and it's the shade, um, L60, L600 Light Nude Chair Pell. Chair Pell. Okay. I wet my other beauty blender. Because I use two separate ones. I don't like mixing shades. I use a tiny bit. Because this is like a more natural look. So I just do a tiny bit. And then I'll do some on my nose. And should I do some on my forehead to hopefully cover that? Probably so I'm going to. Um wait, now I'm gonna blend this and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um and now I'm gonna use this dewy blush glossy cheek tint from Site London. Um it's a liquid blush, it's really cool. Really, really nice. Like, it's amazing. Oh, that was so much. Okay. Hold on. That was a lot. Okay. That was a lot. Um, don't put that much because it's really pigmented. You do not need that much, okay? Um, I didn't realize that it was coming out, and I squeezed it. So, okay, anyways, now I'm going to show you how to blend this, because they're, they're, in order for it to evenly blend, you want to, like, tap it across so that it's not all just in one spot when you start to go like this. So just, like, tap it out first and then do swirls. Okay. Now, you can't really tell on camera, but... In person, the colors are like actually showing. 
Like, you can't really, like, tell. But I swear the colors are showing up, okay? My camera just needs to get better. I need a better camera. But it's okay. Um, anyways. Okay. Anyways, now... I think I'm gonna actually use powder this time, which I haven't done in the past because I like to leave the, the like, glowy look. So I haven't done it, but you know, I don't want to be sticky, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. Of course, under the under eyes, we need some, because my concealer be sticky, sticky, sticky. On the nose, the chin. Of the lip, some on the forehead, of course on the blush, where it's like really sticky because the blush is really sticky, so you know, gotta, gotta do something there. And, it, okay, so now I'm gonna wipe this away. Usually I don't care if um, it's sticky, but because it looks better, but you know, I thought today I might as well try and see what it looks like. So I put on powder so that I'm not sticky. So I hate the feeling of being sticky, and today I just don't want to be sticky, and I don't really have anywhere to go, so it doesn't matter how it looks really to me. Sorry if I'm saying really a lot, like I just realized that. Yeah. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And I'm just going to put it on my brows to kind of shape them. So first I just like go straight and then I like curve up. Or not curve up, I just like push them up and up. And then I shape again. And shape again. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna do mascara. I love mascara. Uh, I don't even know what mascara this is. Um, it's like Arcelly. I'm saying all this wrong. Arcelly Beauty mascara. It's really good. It's like good for like making your lashes look thicker and looking like you have falsies on, you know, like the thick falsies. <gasps> no, I haven't done that in so long. And of course I'm gonna do it today on camera and I'm trying to make this look good. Okay. Of course. Okay, fixed it. Got mascara. I got mascara right here, guys. You can kind of see it. Like, look at what that does. I just cracked my neck doing that, guys. And then, um, if you have like a eyelash spoolie thing, um, use that. But I just have this really old mascara. I can't even read the label anymore. Um, it's a CoverGirl one. And it has the tiniest bristles you can't even see. And I just use it to like separate my lashes. And like lengthen them. So that's the difference. And then I do it to the other side. Okay. Now it's time for lips. 
So, I just use this NYX lip liner in the shade, what shade are you? Um, I have no clue what shade it is, to be quite honest. But it's like a pinky color. I don't overlip my line, my oh, I don't overline my lips, guys. Uh, I think it looks bad when I try and do that. And then I put it all over my lips because I'm not putting. So I'm just putting a gloss on. So I use this Lifter gloss that's Maybelline New York. It's really good. Like, look at that. You don't need a lot of it. Also, I painted my nail, my toenails. So I'm gonna wear sandals with my fit. So y'all are gonna get to see my dogs probably for the first time ever. Which, you know, scares me, but it's okay. we all got to get over our fears. Okay. Alright, for being blind, I did pretty good. And... I'm just kidding, I did like really good. I always, I always like how it turns out in the end. I'm going to blow dry my hair because it's kind of getting like wavy because hair does that. My hair does that at least. I'm gonna blow dry it, kind of fix it up. I'll be back. To be honest with y'all, the only reason that I actually did my makeup wasn't because I wanted to, but because I was letting my toes dry so that I didn't keep like looking at them and messing them up and wasn't like getting impatient to get dressed so that I, so it was so that I had something to do so that I could not focus on the fact that I'm not dressed. Also, I have to leave. Like, we were supposed to leave at 2. It's 2.18. I don't know if they left. Of course they left. Why wouldn't they have left? I was like, yeah, I want to go. And they don't even let me know that they left. Sick. Okay, anyways. I'm going to change. Okay. Here's the fit. Um, I love these jeans and how they look on me. They just don't really fit right, so. But they're really cute. Also, here's the back of the shirt. It's really cute. Um, the angles are not angling correctly. And then the shoes are really cute. They're sandals. I don't know if sandals would go with this, but I don't really care. So, sandals are going with it today. So, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all have a good day. Love you, and bye!